Never heard of that. Anybody that has tried to love and tried to hurt me. Yo, back. what's up, it's up, man? I'm Lonnie TV reacting to It's Time for 20 v one Stand. If you click this video, I think it's pretty damn obvious. You hate 20 v ones. Me personally, me personally, I don't give a fuck. You feel me? I feel like 20 v ones. I I personally like reacting to 20 v ones. It just depends on who is the people. I feel like nowadays it'd be like a whole lot of random motherfuckers on these 20 v ones. Like I be finding out about rappers or some type of artists, or they be having corn stars or only fan chicks on 20 v ones that I never heard about, and that's how I find out about them. So that, that's the part when I say okay. Y'all gonna overload with this. But I feel like it was cool when you had like an NLE Chopper. Um, what's what's his name right here? Somebody comment that down below for me. I can't remember his name. It's like like two time or something. Uh they need a boss man dealer on this motherfucker. Now that's when I feel like everybody gonna watch, bro. Just off of curiosity, man. But yeah, like these, I see like a familiar face right here. Uh this that this that sus guy, man. His shit, I ain't watch it, but I'm pretty sure it was a cool vid. A lot of y'all probably watched it. But when you get down to the random people, when they start talking about all these New York drill artists, who the fuck are they? You feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with no New York drill artists, but it's just like, it's so many of them, you don't even know half the names. That's that's when I said the 20 v ones. Those 20 v ones got to get cut short, you feel me? But hey, man, like the video if you're new to the channel. If you're already fucking off my vibe right now, go down below and subscribe. As you see up top, we got a Discord. I'm getting back on motion with it. I know I was slow with it from the start, but man, a lot of y'all already joined, so keep joining, man. 20v1s, one of YouTube's most sinister dark arts. An unpatched money glitch that finds each and every new lit YouTuber. Like, I, don't, I don't even know who that is, bro. Somebody tell me who that guy is. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Upload. And a video format that I personally consider as one of God's biggest mistakes. What type of bag what? would you buy me? I already told you. Oh, nah, would you give me? No, I don't want no ass. I want to <laughs> kill. Who I've been itching and fiending to drag my nuts all over this topic. Shit, are we got to the right video, bro. What the fuck is this nigga talking about? Because boy, oh Who boy, do I watching? have some words for you blacks. Now, black YouTube, nah, or this what is I racist refer to it as hood booger YouTube, is something that I've been really wanting to pick apart and dissect since I started doing commentary. Because there's just so much to be said here that I can go on for literal days about how the obnoxiously loud minority of black content creators are just setting black folk back literal decades. Hell, I'm even struggling trying to anchor down on a start point while scripting this vid out. Hence why I'm off schedule. Like, I just, I just don't know where to start. There's just so much going on here. But before I get too, too deep into this, when I say black youtube and hood booger content i'm he not talking them. about amp ksi speed rdc anyone that you would see Who walking around in rdc this, world bro. i'm not talking about them those them guys are favorites. doing phenomenal and are truly reshaping the content landscape as we know it however but you can't say that though 20 v ones changed a lot of youtube that shit changed the game of youtube like think about it a lot of the youtube was literally just um vlog running gun type videos uh throw a chick in it party vid 21's changed shit to like more, um, how do I say this? More choreographed type videos. Not where it's scripted, but in a way where it's a, you got a studio, you bring in a big ass group of people and making it like a game show, bro. It brought a whole different vibe to YouTube. That's why I hit so heavy when it first came out. Like, think about it. When King Sis started dropping that, you can't tell me. We ain't missed none of them videos. You watched every one of those videos, bro, because I know damn well I did. So you can't even lie and say you didn't. You was vibing with the shit heavy. The time you got tired of it is when you start seeing unrecognized faces, bro. That's when we start getting irritated. What I am talking about are those freaked out lead paint chip munching oh, yeah, money that hungry too, YouTubers that who that go too, around though. doing public interviews, smasher passes, and are now spamming the Ain't nothing wrong with the months. smasher passes. I mean, niggas are cheesing that method more than a dreadhead with two strand twists. Like for the past six months at this point, every single week, without fail, there is some new rapper, comedian, influencer, but or that, that's not a specific YouTuber, YouTuber going, though. That's just because there's hella different YouTubers doing it. So you can't blame it though. It's, it's the same as vlogs. Vlogs, bro. Everybody does a vlog. Do you hear anybody saying vlogs need to be come to an end? No, no. It's just twenty v ones hit harder. You gonna notice it? They they eye catching thumbnails, so they you just gonna recognize them. Like every video is. Yeah, I realize YouTube is just a, a engine of the same videos, just minor tweaks to it. Like think about it. You go on 
the top 10 greatest criminals. You know how many videos of those there is? But you don't say those videos need to come in. I'm just saying, bro. I, I see what he's saying, but I, I, I see shit from multiple perspectives before I even set a, a standpoint. And someone else is 20v1. Do you niggas not have any shame? Do y'all have no creativity besides copy, paste, milk the cow until the udders are shriveled up like nuts? Like, you know the well is dried up when you have Boosie of all people as a guest for one of these 20v1s. Nah, his video was from this here. Yeah. Hey, we reacted to his, man. Go, go yeah. look for it. Go look for it in the uh, in our history. <laughs> Come on, let me. Yeah, yeah, who was, I, 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 who was? Yeah, because I didn't hear it. Yeah. Whose girlfriend is this? Come on now, Somebody man. Gonna Are we not too, embarrassed for making them pancakes clap for Boosie's uncle? Like Boosie, Boosie fade Boosie. Please tell me what in the hell that nigga's gonna do for you besides start barking whenever you see your butt. Like what? What? Boosie's His not video paying your bills. Anyways, man. if you guys are unfamiliar with the term 20v1, it's pretty much just speed dating but with a content twist to it. Essentially, get a group of 20 men or 20 women, throw them in one of those warehouses with a white backdrop, and then have them compete in a riz off against each other for one person of the opposite sex. This format was spearheaded by Jubilee and Cut like half a decade ago. Then the side man yeah. came through and popularized it yet yeah. again just last year. And now the niggas that were doing Smash past videos have this grip by the balls. And a trend that you're going to start to see here with these channels is that since their inception, none of these channels have ever had a smidge of originality. If one of them starts doing Smash or Pass videos, here come that's 20 true. other channels doing that's Smash true. or Pass as well. True. Someone that's start true. to put some balloon popping action into damn the mix. Well, niggas will simply. God damn. Hold on. Channels doing Smash or Pass as well. Someone start. God damn. <laughs> She's like. You know what you look like? the Y'all be seeing them Instagram memes, right? With the little African kids. No, it's not nothing wrong, bro. It's just the head shape, bro. It look like the memes. That's crazy, bro. I, to put I some forgot what videos you were watching when, we, when I seen their head shape. We'll simply reshoot the whole video and pop some balloons as well. Someone finds their match in New York. Oh, would you look at that? Niggas also found their match down in Houston. And even looking at the thumbnails alone that, that for these is. videos, each and every one of them on the screen is yeah, from a is different channel. Time. And if I didn't say anything, I can guarantee you that you would not have been able to tell either. And I was even having trouble trying to keep track of whose thumbnail was whose when I was gathering screenshots for this video. Like, it's just no originality. It's just copy, paste. That's all you know. But if copying each other's videos weren't enough, they are still just making the same video over and over each week, week after week, without changing shit. Like, yeah. if we take a look at No Love Mars channel, one of the top dogs when it comes to these 20 v ones I feel like he you with it, how much he spent I, I feel like he fired with it though just because off of like he he does it strictly off of, i've just seen his podcast the other day where he did it with uh every b y'all should go watch that too because you get a better insight on why he does what he do from his standpoint he don't do it for his entertainment he does it strictly as a money investment like a business he says he drops like twenty thousand. he i think the most he paid was like 90k to get one artist on here right because he fucking 10x is that profit from doing this one video. So when I heard that shit, it made all sense to me. That's why he's just milking this shit out. He spends 10K for a nigga, artists like V's, the new upcoming artist. 10K right here. That nigga make 100K off that one vid. I said, damn, bro. I can't even be mad. This shit all makes sense, bro. That's why you're going to keep doing the same shit. If it's working, it's working, it's working. Why would you not keep doing it? Look. Look at the view count right here. 2.2 .2 mil in that lead. One, the shade. 1.8, Lil Meech. But when you go back to the original shit, he first started off with, and he tried doing something a little different. Look, 294K. So guess what you're going to do? You're going to go back to what's working. Bobby Smutter, 1.2. Whoever the fuck this is, 694K, he probably say he ain't never going to post no shit like that again, bro. But yeah. Spam this same video type in the span of six months. Nigga, the only thing you changed was the guest and rarely bumping it from 20 to- Hold on, hold on. I got to go back real quick. Also, look, when he be trying shit different, he, he, he do tests and trials sometimes. Look, he tried it. It didn't work. He tried shit. It did not work. He got a hit right here, but it's, it just wasn't as consistent. So guess what you're going to do? You're going to go back to what's working span of six months nigga the only thing you changed was the guest and rarely bumping it from 20 to 50 v1 and you only did the 50 so you can make a longer video and to fit more ads into it yeah nigga i get paid off the too i'm on your 
this bucko. But it actually seems as though like copying each other isn't though. always sunshine and rainbows. In fact, sometimes the real demon and you pop out and you just, you gotta go all out. You really gotta crash out for the content. So a couple months ago, while Krishan Rock was trending for the 50th time this year doing God knows what, everyone with the slightest <laughs> amount of fun wanted Krishan for one in order to capitalize off her relevancy. And the way these niggas acted just to attempt to be the first one to drop a vid with her is just flat out ridiculous. Apparently, No Love Mars team had booked her for a shoot first. But another channel by the name of LaMike had also booked her just with overnight shipping. So to collect both bags, she went to LaMike's shoot first and then planned to go to No Love's after. The No Love crew caught one of this and instead of, you know. Hey, before we even get here, what you gotta say, go down below and subscribe to the channel if you ain't do it. I really want you to join the game, bro. You gonna love it over here. I don't sure coach shit, bro. So go down, hit the subscribe button, man. Talk and I'm curious what he gonna say about this Kishan Rock situation because I heard the actual story from the actual podcast. So I'm curious on how he gonna repeat this story get out or potentially even collabing and calling it a day the no love crew pulled up to the other set mid shoot pistol whipped everybody stole the footage and then ran off like it was a gta heist oh. these niggas committed like five crimes over some footage of a creature that looks like she's from whoville like is that is that That's not crazy you know, like money aside right you're 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 yeah. stealing footage of a <laughs> oh my goodness you just so stupid. But see, stepping away from how grimy see, like, he already, he already missed out a lot. Of, he already missed a lot of information, like or a lot of small details. Hella shit. So he just he just saying shit for entertainment right and now. And pivoting back to like, the content itself, to one it. very big factor of these channels and why they do so well, I guess, is how unfiltered they can be. Reminder: these current twenty v one channels are the same ones that used to be doing those hyper sexualized Smasher Paz videos. And if this you've ever seen them, you, you know how much he can get. Real shit, I feel like you can me the fuck. So, ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm definitely smashing. I want to. Ain't nothing wrong. With that ain't the worst thing I heard. That's true. I feel like every girl should want you to slap them fuck out. You feel me? When I'm talking to her, I tell her she my whore. I tell her you you my bitch. You feel me? I'm gonna slap you out. I tell her. I look. Tell that shit, shit straight to their face. You can. You can go. If y'all know any shorty I talk to, I fucked with. Go ask them, bro. Ask them, bro. They gonna show you receipts, bro. I want to lick on it. I want to swallow it. Um, would you say that you are yeah. pinky? You Bro, you four dogs need to be neutered hole. simply off the fact that you're comfortable being this sexual in front of two plus million people. And That's seeing as though 20 v ones are essentially speed dating a celebrity, most if not all the time, the people competing are just trying to finagle their way into the up niggas' pants for some money. Okay, I like to have fun, what but kind of fun, um, like adventures, like, yeah. flaps. Yeah, definitely adventures. I like you ride all the rides. Not that, but Her I'm saying, like, like traveling hurt. and but it's like. Everything is what you okay then. So let me get this straight. You don't with no walks in the park, no kayaking, no arcade. How you don't even want to go to dinner. You just you you, you just trying to fuck. just frame one trying to play hide the eggplant oh, and first whore. ticket to suckle my knuckle town. Even Quavo sitting over there confused, like what the hell is he supposed Whores, to do when she goes man. to meet his mom? In his head, all this woman knows is <laughs> balls and manipulation. No daughter, man, it. but I know it's bound to happen. You freaky, fro you a freaky frog. But it gets worse, so 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 much worse that it is sickening. So remember that little Mike dude I was talking about earlier, yeah, he happened to get that new Milwaukee rapper JP on, you know, the ever make a bitty hit or knee, oh, 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 that guy. Now this 20v1 video might just be the most egregious display of clout chasing and humiliation out of it. all so of I, the videos I I've seen. Say, and I'm not even going to give any context, just what he hold the And I have a question for you. What's up? So you ever had with no gag reflex or no? Of course. Yeah. I've had several. Oh, I can show you better. I can tell you. Have video, you, like, you, video like representation. You want to find out real quick? Did 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 Shorty just offer to suck up the Milwaukee demon live on camera? Oh. Like, am, am I hearing that correctly? Is my headphones working? That nigga JP's aura just might be off the charts dude holy shit. <laughs> that is crazy i think historians need to study it's that a, nigga oh it's a fucking blade walker why are we so dead on serious about this it's girls like that that is that, that literally exists in the world they like it's so special for any random chick to say that shit is it's not out of the ordinary bro it's hella just like that especially you go you go down the street you feel me stockton boulevard you gonna see a lot of those you feel me it only costs ten dollars <laughs> they ain't gonna say that straight straight out loud in front of 50 niggas particular because not only did she offer but they actually went to gag town in the video how y'all doing how y'all doing we're a bathroom out of here you don't go nah this entertainment come on 
She not even meant to be that doing that That nigga really shit did with. make the bitty hitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't play with that boy, JB. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. I want better for my people, but I know that it is simply not in God's It's just black. I... Black people, they know how to get free, man. Hey, I ain't gonna hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know how to turn down when, when, when we need to, you feel me? But in business situations like this, I guess we got to learn how to keep shit professional. But I know a lot of us just be trying to make shit fun all the time. And that's what make, bro, niggas make shit fun everywhere you go, bro. You can be in a funeral. You're going to be laughing with your boys. Wedding, you're laughing with your boys. There's a, this nigga I hit on the side of the road. Something's gonna be funny, bro. That's just the thing with niggas, bro. We can't help it, bro. I don't know what it is. It's the way you raise, the way you grow up, bro. Pray that you remove this debuff from all niggas. The overly horny debuff. I beg. I'll do anything. I'll give up my right testicle. What do you mean, bro? Now, talking there's a lot to unpack here. But um, let's just start with the elephant in the room. Why the f are you niggas huddled around the door listening to another man get his dong inhaled like it's Cardi leaks? That, that alone crazy. might be the most suspect out of all of yeah. this. Like you niggas are are freaked out. You so freaky ass nigga. And even though they I'm like suspect. 90 nah, the sure shit he been saying been suspect. Fake, the fact that they're even doing that is even more ridiculous. And to top it all off, who the f is paying to hear JP of all people get his meat stick played with on Patreon. Oh my God, these niggas are actually about to get me to raise my blood pressure. What, 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 what is going on with this generation? And I forgot about the other elephant in the room here. Um, Both JP and the Shardy are dirty as hell. Like these two didn't even speak to each other for no more than three minutes and his d is supposedly in the back of her throat. But this wasn't the only time she- But who's this nigga to judge, bro? What, what the fuck are you talking about now, bro? You gonna judge a nigga off of fucking a joint? Uh, maybe this nigga had no one night stands before. He ain't hook up with no with no cats before. It shit not abnormal, bro. This shit happens, bro. We niggas hook up with shorty sometimes, bro. You don't got the best connection with the girl. Sometimes it's just off a vibe. You go do your shit real quick, and it's it's a mutual thing. You don't gotta have a fucking connection all the time, bro. Got out of hand in just this video alone. This nigga Fast forward a couple how rounds, long this nigga JP is picking up and shit. dry humping women left and right, all while they're begging and asking, "Oh me, me next, me, 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 me one uppies, me one uppies." So you can pick women up, right? Duh. Pick me up right now. I don't like how you talking about it Show though, because it's to me it sound like a jealous thing. Like it sound like he he don't like it because the nigga ain't never done no shit like this before. But if you this nigga, you got the. You got the type of love. You got the type of love. You can do whatever you want with the cash. You going to do what you want to do. You feel me? But the nigga reacted to the video. He's talking like it's a bad thing. You feel me? Show me how you'll do me. You see that? Ooh. You see that? Come here. Hold on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. This is wild, bro. You see that? You see that? You see that? You see that? You, 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 you see this ease? What's he at? I should, I should pick you up like that, too, and show you it's not a joke. Come here. Come here. The amount of raw aggression and just freaky aura that this nigga JP radiates, it, 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 I, yeah, I don't even think this man should. Ain't nothing wrong with, with, with it, bro. And that dorky nigga in the it's back like you with got, the when you, go, when you coming up through high school, you got dogs, you got the sorry niggas, and you got some normal niggas, you feel me? You got smooth niggas, you got player niggas. You got niggas who do too much, you got the mellow niggas. Everybody different, and guess what? You move around like that, you know who do what. You know who he can bring on that too, man. You know how he gonna act when you're around the shorties. Guess what? He the aggressive nigga. He going he might he might be the nigga to do too much. Guess what? He I ain't gonna do shit with him. He can do his own thing. So let the nigga do his own thing in peace. There's no reason to judge this shit. Setting up there talking about some damn He like that. Yeah, that's JP on me on my mom, that's JP. Hold Stop, Stop, yeah. Stop playing crazy. Stop playing crazy. Stop playing crazy. What? What? He like that? What else I want? If I ain't know no better, I would have assumed he was sucking JP in that bathroom too. They probably would have had like some double hand action. Oh, 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 oh. Pause. Bro, come on, no, Diddy. But in all come seriousness, on, I think this is thing here. This I'm sorry. Really pants off, off, straight bunions, like straight booty. There's no way, bro. Still talking about this. Thousand people. Oh, you're watching too. No. All right, you gotta go. He said needed to hop in that man's arms and literally beg for him to pick her. You gotta go. Right, it sound like go. a hate thing at this time, bro. I just don't like how you talking about it. I see what you trying to say, bro. Like, you talking about the 21s, but, bro, you going so in on this vid. Like, look how long this one segment is. Like, what the fuck you got against this nigga, Because you can't handle me, that's That's cool, because I'm sorry. I got a quiz, I got a quiz. Since you think he can't handle you, mm -hmm. do you want to prove him wrong? Yay. 
All right, go ahead. She's still going to get knocked regardless. I can't handle this, boy. I don't even have to say no more, man. At what point do we just call this sexual harassment after rejection and get her put on a fucking list? Snake and how is this video even- Snake called that harassment. I can't even say a word on YouTube, but harass. How you going? Come on, bro. Just, just, just say what you want to say. You don't got to get- Nah, that shit, that shit you saying is crazy. Just talk about the twenty B ones and why you want to come to in. If she, if it's a mutual thing, it's not, bro. It's correlated, bro. Even monetized, like that nigga is literally dry humping shorties in the air. Like, bro, get this shit, off, get this shit off my screen, man. But one last tidbit and I want to throw in here it, about bro. these creatures is that when they're not damn near on camera spamming the same video 10 times in one month or flat out infighting for video views these niggas insist on running their fans pockets via cash app scams all right click that link in my description the top link right there so far uh, on the podcast they talked about yeah, this so shit look, too. all you gotta do fam is complete all these stuff so hit continue toy 750 I ain't gonna lie, I be uh, tired of seeing this shit when too. When I look up seven deadly sins white warehouse youtubers pop up under the they say it's not a scam but it's definitely a time waster. That's exactly what I saw. It was a No Love More and ABB podcast. I think it's called Living Fast Podcast. You should go look it up and watch. I watched the whole thing literally yesterday. So it's crazy that I'm watching this video right now. But, bro, they said a $750 scam. He literally, he literally said the whole thing. He said it's not a scam. He said, but he done it himself. But not everybody gets the fucking $750. He said, literally, it'd be like a million people, maybe... 20% of them get the $750. And he explained why. He said there's 20 deals you have to complete. And he said even once you do that, you don't get the money ASAP. It takes a while to get the money. He said it comes long as hell. He said that, he said the only thing is people don't like to read read it before they do it. They just hop on and try getting quick cash, but they don't ever read what you really got to do. So it's not a scam, but, bro, I ain't going to lie. I'm tired of seeing them cash up ass too. Cause bro, they be forcing them shit in four times a video. Every video be watching. Man. Well, that's not enough. These niggas gotta spin back and scam niggas on top of that. And what's even crazier is they are real life trying to get you to scan that QR code. Like this is not just one ad, but two in one video. Because so halfway through the video, Shorty just so it. happens to get seven hundred and fifty dollars dropped into her Cash App inbox. You so sexy. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God, King! What the fuck? What? I just got that 750. That's a crazy you ad. Just, yes! <laughs> you, gotta your bio. you just cash after 750. Who the fuck, who balls are you trying to pull here? It's not me. I'm 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 a smart nigga. It's not me. I mean, I've seen no videos shit, from the nigga. hub with better acting than this. Like, come on. If, if you're gonna be trying to, be... to scam niggas, can you to the niggas that it's are It's an ad. It's not meant to be fucking. Oh my god, bro. Some intelligence stats up because falling to Gooner video acting is, is just pitiful. Now, if my tone wasn't clear enough this video, I personally find this whole process of a 20v1 from start to finish just embarrassing as hell to be a part of. I don't think sure, bro should continue watching him. I think he is, cost I feel like this nigga video. done watched every fucking video and makes and still makes a video like this. This nigga done went through and talked about every video. But bro, just don't watch it. When you see them thumbnails, don't watch it. Don't click it. Just go skip that shit for years to come. And I've said this in a handful of my videos at this point, but I seriously do think that people seem to forget about the concept of a digital footprint. Like this video lives on forever. You shaking ass on camera for a random schmuck who yeah. you will never see again is cataloged life, until the end of time. If you niggas have kids and these channels don't end up getting deleted, there is a non-zero chance that they will see their mom or dad grab some strangers for a YouTube 20v1 or Smasher Pass video. Do any of you niggas think past the views and think long-term past just the moment, or is it just like, I gotta chase these views right now? And we don't even gotta go that far for the embarrassment level here. The hold fact on, that y'all- hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, We can't even be mad because think about it, bro. It's the same. Hold on, let me explain this a little better. First of all, oh shit, I hope this shit not echoing. Oh my God, I hope it's not echoing. I have the speaker on. But let me say this. First of all, everybody in the videos is grown, bruh. Well, let me say most of them. Most of them. Most. Most of these videos, they're grown. Everybody's over 18. That's legally grown. So they can make whatever choice they have. They they know the consequences. They know how they should be acting. If they get out of hand, that is on them. Everybody knows about social media. They're, everybody's warned about social media. Once it's on social media, it's never deleted. It's forever there. You feel me? So they're grown. So you can't be mad on what they do. They got full right to do whatever they want. 
So when it go down to the kid going to see him in, it's the same as a generation ago. You feel me? Even though it wasn't cameras and shit that I was like that. No, there was cameras. So there was. Uh, let's talk about before cameras. A lot of a lot of moms. Your grandma might have been a fucking black walker. She might have been on a pole. She might have been a stage dancer. You feel me? But a lot of y'all don't know. A lot of y'all don't know, bro. But the history ain't that perfect, bro. It's just nowadays this shit is filmed. Your grandma was doing shit, bro. So relax, bro. They have footprint too. It's just they wasn't. They was. They just wasn't in a cut. So the only thing with these shorties, they just not moving smart. That's on them. For one, this ain't nothing different than the shit they already posting on social media. The, they out there on social media trying to be IG models. They're taking shit in bikinis, literally rear end to the camera. They shaking ass on the camera. They saying horse shit on the camera. They drinking on camera. They partying on camera. They doing a lot of shit on camera on social media. So their shit is already fucked up. So what the fuck is the difference from YouTube than what they got on, 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 on Instagram? You feel me? So just let it be. They grown, man. Or in your club's best attire to stand up there and have someone tell you to go left or right is just mind boggling. Y'all can get your bag, whatever. Cool. This is clearly phenomenal short term money games. But when your whole channel is based upon one trend, like one specific video, and you as the channel's owner are barely in the vids, your channel is just going to die when this whole trend ends. Like this is just YouTube career super on the side sticking entirely it's to a one type of video copy and pasting it's a every day it's a business it's a business his channel ain't meant for him you feel me his channel is strictly a money investment channel if he i think he has another channel for his face i think it's him and his girl this channel is strictly business he knows that nobody recognizes him on his vid it's no love Morris's name though right but everybody clicks the video for the artist for the artist, whoever whoever is promoted the biggest person on the, on the thumbnail, that's who everybody clicking the video for. They know that video is not for them, bro. So guess what? They know that. They know that. That's why a lot of them make different channels. You feel me? There's a lot of faceless channels out there that y'all don't even realize. The um the channels where they they um going through a document a document uh documentary is that how you say it? documentary? When they talking about somebody's whole history of their life, guess what? A lot of their faces don't show, but they talking about somebody else's life. And that shit rack in 12 million views. Nobody speaks on that. The person talking ain't recognized. That's his channel, though. But they're not recognized. It's the same shit. It's a faceless channel. But using somebody else's name, somebody else's face to to boost your status, to boost your income. You feel me? They're, the person ain't going to be recognized when he go out in public or... or um, or just not recognize as much as somebody else would as if you was just the main person of the vid. But bruh, it's different type of channel, bruh. Hey, with no actual personality. I want us to win. I want black creatives to win. But if you guys are constantly going back and forth with being a day straight day up degenerates shit. and flat out repeating the same video over and over with no variation, you aren't doing shit but cash grabbing. Especially looking at those cash app scams. Like these niggas are only in it for the money. For the sake of the black community as a whole, this either needs to be tamed or shut down completely and that's not even me trying to come at your bag it's me trying to stop another race war from hitting the tl if one of us calls another race out of our name all they have to do is just pull up a 20v1 video and at that point it's nothing that the black race can even do like we, we just gotta sit there and hold that l in silence like we gotta take that walk of shame but uh yeah man this video's going on long enough i'm annoyed as shit if this vid does well i'll do another video dissecting some more hood boogers on youtube that i find if you guys know of any channels just let me know down below but until then man y'all know the drill make sure you guys i'm curious on how this channel gonna turn out i think this video is turning up his channel i think what i said this shit, the start thing is like 10k so and this shit was posted 11 days ago yeah this shit definitely turn up his channel so i'm curious on how he's going to keep up with this type of content is he going to be like a, a hate type reaction or person i feel like that's going to be hard to do like how can you have that much hate towards shit i'm lost the kids bro i'm curious to see how this shit turn out man but Good luck to the content, man. But yeah, interesting video. I always see shit from a business standpoint. And YouTube, when I do, I do, so I do a lot of fucking research about YouTube. That's why I be, like, y'all see my thumbnails change up. Y'all see the way I talk change up. The way I interact with y'all. Everything changes up and improves as I keep going. It's because I study this shit so much. And I, I learned YouTube is a business.
So I understand both sides. I understand it from an entertainment standpoint, and I understand it, understand it from a business standpoint. So no, a no love Mar channel or um, twenty v one channel, their business standpoint videos strictly money. So that channel ain't based to build the most loyal fan base. That is a channel just bringing in quick cash. If they trying to build a loyal fan base, that's when you go to a channel like DDG Blogs, Pontiac, um, Pontiac made. DDG, not quite like Dub, J Cinco, shit like that. Name the videos you watch for loyal fan base, cause those are consistent people who showing their face all the time, building connection with their viewers. So you gotta understand there's different types of channels, man. But hey, man, if you fuck with my reaction to the shit and the shit I gotta say, man, go down below and subscribe, man. Join the game, man. We a family over here, and I want you to feel that way. And talk in the comment, bro. I reply to every comment, so. And we have a full-ass conversation down there, too. So go do that, man. But it's Lonnie TV. We're done.